Now, you claim you are certain that your boyfriend is the father of your six-month-old daughter, Paisley. Recent allegations of cheating have caused a strain on your relationship. You're hoping that today's paternity results will help you save your family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Osborne, you admit to being a father figure in Paisley's life, but say when the paternity results prove you are not her biological father, you are done with Ms. Damon and her baby for good. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Damon, you say you need to save this relationship. Explain. We're living like roommates. Really? Yes. We're so not it's living like the a relationship yes. that much? Yes, Your Honor. We both have this doubt in the back of our mind. We don't speak of it, but it's there. We know it. Um, I found out that I was pregnant. I told him, and we were both, we just both had, like, a look of fear in our eyes. Like, what did we do? Oh, really? Yes. I was waiting for you to say, and at that moment, we were so happy. No, no, no. It, you had a look of fear. There was no happiness. It wasn't your average, you know, jump up and joy. Oh, we're expecting. No, not at all. You had a look of fear, Mr. Osborne? Yeah, Your Honor, because the day before she found out she was pregnant, I received text messages while I was at work from her best friend stating that she might be pregnant and that it's not mine. Ooh. Oh! Are you holding those text messages right now? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to see them, please. Jerome, will you hand them to me? Thank you. You're welcome. So you said the day before you all got the big news, you got some text messages. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Osborne, you received a text that said Jillian might be pregnant, and she said it's another guy's. Just thought I'd let you know. Also, she's been blank, guy two, out in blank, and guy three. But there are new people she's been blanking. <laughs> So this is your best friend. Ex-best friend. So why would your friend take it upon herself to text message your boyfriend just to let him know that there are potentially three other guys you're sleeping with? She did to me what I did to her. So it's out of spite. It's all out of spite. A spiteful person does that. Oh, so you did this to her once upon a time. Once upon a time, something similar. So the best friends are getting back at one another. That's, basic, That's your testimony? Basically, I mean... But I'm sure, Mr. Osborne, when you get a text like that, and then the next day you find out Ms. Damon is actually pregnant... Yeah. There really is no joy. No, there was no joy. It was more thinking in my head, uh, are you gonna be stupid and try to step up and raise another man's child? or just dip out and run. So why didn't you? Why didn't you just run? Why didn't you just say, I there, can't do this? There is a chance that she is my child and I grew up without a dad and I, I didn't want her to grow up without a father. 50-50 chance, that's a good odd for me. Well, if we do this math, it's more like 25% because you would be <laughs> yeah. number four. Yeah. I'll say this. It's commendable what you did. Have you developed a relationship with Paisley? Were you there for the birth? Did you cut the cord? Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, I did cut the cord. And eventually, I did sign the birth certificate. Even with doubts? Even with doubts, I signed it. Because after she was born, I pulled the nurse to the side and I asked her for a DNA test. And they told me that the hospital don't offer free DNA test anymore that it would cost me $600. You embarrassed me in front of the record lady I when she you. came in. I embarrassed my you. My friends were in the room. You, did you see the messages? I embarrassed you. I don't care. My friends were in the room and you said I you did not care. want to sign the birth certificate. If it comes out that she's Why not did my you father? hold my leg? Why did you drive me to the hospital? Why were you there through the whole thing? Why did you stay and not leave the hospital for two days? Because at if all? she is did my not... child... I want to be there for the little okay. thing. That's what counts. But if she's not mine, I'm gone. So there's no need to do all this and get attached to her. You should have just so, not been with the other guys. <laughs> well, yeah. That could have worked as well. Yes, there were no other guys. The Jillian did... I did not... No, there was no other guy. 
we wanted to get to the bottom of this, so your best friend is here. Jerome, please escort Miss Taylor into the courtroom. I'm gonna have you stay to the left. I'll go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Taylor. You were best friends with Ms. Damon, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So you were best friends. We also had offered into evidence from Mr. Osborne a text message where you seemed to let him know that your best friend was sleeping with three other guys and Paisley may not be his biological child. Correct. Is that true? She tried to mess up my relationship and things in my personal life, so... Out of spite, I told her boyfriend at the time what she had been doing. So do you have any proof that she was sleeping with other men? Yes, she told me in um, Facebook messages and she told me in person. Did you bring any of these messages? Um, yes. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So these are messages between you and the plaintiff, Ms. Damon. Correct. And these messages read, hate this stupid blank. That's referring to Mr. Osborne. I'm about to wait till he falls asleep and go to another guy's. You write back. Really? The next morning, did you go? She responds, yes, girl, I've been up all night. He's still sleeping. <laughs> You also submitted another exchange between you and the plaintiff that says, if Elliot asks, I'm with you right now. That's what Ms. Ms. Damon said. And then wow. you write back laughing, okay. Yeah. I mean, everybody in this gallery has either cheated or been cheated on. <laughs> and this is classic cheating behavior. Yeah, no, yep. I had if a lot... If somebody asks you, I'm a, with you. I had a lot going on at this time, so that, that message specifically was not about me being with any other man. The other ones are a different story, but that one, no. Okay, so let's go to the other story. Sure look the different story was, you hate his stupid blank, and you about to wait until he falls asleep and go to another guy's house. I can say anything with I'm mad, when I'm mad. I can write anything over a Facebook Oh, so message. now you're saying you're angry. I was probably angry at him, yes. That's so, I know that you slept with multiple people and attempted to sleep with a fourth. How do you know this, Miss Taylor? I was there with her with one man. Oh. Oh, you were? Yes. So you what were happened? condoning her cheating on me. Yes, I was. Yeah, probably because you was doing the same thing. I was faithful to my man, but I supported her cheating on you very okay. much so. You were faithful? <laughs> okay. When, I have no you know? recollection of this at all. <laughs> like, nothing. You cheated on him. You told me you cheated on him, and I was around you with different guys. I, I don't know what different guys this was. What? So, she told you what? That she was cheating on him. She did? Yes. What did she I say? She said that every time she got a chance, she would go to one guy's house in particular, and if he didn't answer, there was another one, and then if he didn't answer, wow. there was one that I wow. helped her introduce her to, and then she would go to his house, and then there was another one that she attempted to sleep with, but he had a girlfriend already. What in the world? Is, what is going on here? You just ringing doorbells? Like, <laughs> look, like Little Red Riding Hood or something, just ringing doorbells. What is going on? So is this true? No, it's not. You came out and you told me. You've popped up at my house after you went and cheated because he wouldn't let you back in the house. Ooh. And we're knocking at my door and I didn't answer because I was asleep. So, Mr. Osborne, how do you feel hearing all of this testimony? This is a lot. A lot yeah. was going on while you <laughs> were asleep. Right. <laughs> I didn't know what to think when, uh... I stopped sleeping after I got that one. I pretend to sleep and wait to see, you know, if she'd sneak out. And did I like ever? That. And did I ever? Was I not there when you woke up every morning? Okay, then. Well, yeah, you was there okay, when I then. woke up every morning, but 
I, I was there keep every if I'm no. Sleeping. I was there every night. You know, you would have heard every door open. Don't I get dressed loudly? I can't do stuff with the light off. No, don't even. Bro, don't there, even. Bro, there's other. You don't get to co-sign some stuff and then not the other. Okay. I I can actually do whatever I want. You did. Let me try to figure out the conception window. When was Paisley born? January 26th. All right. Was she a full-term baby? No. So she was born at? 12 days early. So that's about 38 weeks. Yes. All right. Given that birth date and delivered at 38 weeks, the window of conception would be May 13th to May 19th. It was May 17, 2017, when you sent the messages to Ms. Taylor about you going to another guy's house, which is smack dab in the middle of that window of conception. Mm-hmm. And that's the night it seems like you slept with the other guy, according to your own message. What I wrote in a message has nothing to do with the actions that I took at all. Your you honor. were just entertaining your best friend on yes, the phone your honor. because How was the you knew. Sh- for me? Okay, so I, you- I told them both what they wanted to hear. That's okay. what I did. I don't care about who you have sex with. Okay, but I'm just saying I told you both at this time one year ago. I told them both what they wanted to hear. That's how I handled everything. Just so- ease people. To please people? Yeah. So you're a people pleaser? Yeah. Yep. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is no. why I have my doubts. Why would someone say they have so many doubts when he was there through my whole pregnancy? He was, I wouldn't say, you know, it was all peaches and roses and we didn't fight, but he, he did the cutest thing. When we found out it was a girl, he framed the pictures and put well, he them told Well, he me. told you why. He said he wanted to be there just in case the baby so was his. Why? Hold on. Because what you've been doing all day is talking over everybody when they start talking, and that part makes you look guilty. You just want to convince him that he's chicken little and the sky is falling. Like he shouldn't have any doubt because he framed an ultrasound or he showed up to support you. He obviously cares he about made you. The Hold on. Himself. Hold on. That's not the point. He already testified that he did it because he didn't want to miss out in case the child was his. We know that there is a possibility, but the problem is, is that there also is doubt. I can see the tears in his eyes. I can see every time he looks at the picture of the baby how much he loves her. I can see it. I can see how emotional that makes you, Mr. Osborne. And looking at her and seeing your relationship, how do you feel when you see those videos? It'll be hard, but if she's not, I'll, I'm gone. Well, the stakes are high here. They really are. And I think we're ready to get the results. Jerome? <laughs> Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Damon versus Osborne, When it comes to six-month-old Paisley Osborne, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Osborne, you are the father. I can see how much that meant to you, Mr. Osborne. (laughs) That's your little girl. You relieved? Yes. I'm happy. I love her. That's my little world right there. Good. That's exactly the way it should be. And I'm happy that we could get clarity for Paisley and for you both in this relationship. And I will say this earnestly. 
I don't believe all those text messages were a lie, but I do believe you ended up on the right side of this paternity determination, and I don't want you to get yourself caught up in another one. It's not worth it. You have a man who loves you and loves your child. You have to put value on that, and that's where you need to keep your focus. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wilson, you claim the defendant got you pregnant and now refuses to do anything for your four-year-old son, Jace, leaving you in financial and emotional distress. You say today's DNA test will prove he is Jace's father and you need him to step up and help you support your son. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Johnson, you state... You are 100% certain you are not her child's biological father and have evidence to support your claim. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Wilson, I'll start with you. You say Mr. Johnson is doing nothing for Jace? Nothing at all. Explain. I've had my son um, for four years doing it all by myself since day one. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry. It's all right. It's hard to look at him. <laughs> Take your time. I know it's difficult. <laughs> You've had him by yourself. No help. He's four. I have been struggling, struggling, struggling as a single parent of two um, with Jace even more. Um, so, been trying to work, go to school. I got a degree. Amen. Um, got a job. Been working my job now for five years. Um, but doing it by myself. And when you look at your son and you think about those hard years, you ask yourself, why isn't the father here to help? Yes. Mr. Johnson, you say you know 100% you're not the biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So you have not done anything to help Ms. Wilson raise Jace? No, Your Honor. So tell the court, why you chose to do nothing? Okay, first of all, when I got with Quadonna, she was dealing with her ex still, and he was still in the picture. No, I wasn't. So, that's I a lie. I wasn't dealing with him. Wait, hold on. I want to understand this. When you all met, how did you even meet? I met his family in a grocery store, and we talked, just had a conversation, and they was like, well, you should meet my son, and you guys might, you know, really hit it off. You're around the same age. Found out we was living across the street from each other. And when you met Mr. Johnson, what was the exchange? When I first seen him, it was like, I felt like it was love at first sight. You did. So you saw him, and it, you, it just felt like you fell in love. Yep. And so now that you have Jace and there's been no interaction and no help, that devastates you even more. Yes. So, Mr. Johnson, she says she thought you were the man of her dreams. Yes, sir. Now you're doing nothing. That's correct. Tell the court why. Why did you take that position? You hit it off so well. Why? Because, Your Honor, as I stated before, she was still involved with her ex. He was still in the picture. My son clearly looks like her ex. So, at this point... I'm confused. I'm delirious. I don't even stay in this state no more. I was in Missouri. This is why I contracted my story from my calculations. I was not even there when he was conceived. Yes, he was. Impossible. You're yes, saying you weren't even there when the baby was conceived? No, I was not. I was living in Missouri. So you submitted a calendar to the court. I want to understand this. So, Mr. Johnson, explain this. You say on April 17th you moved away? Yes, Your Honor. Jace was born February 2nd. Exactly. So when you do your calculation and count back, she would have had to have been pregnant for 10 plus months for this. Correct, yeah. For you to be the father. Correct. Miss Wilson, do you remember Mr. Johnson moving away? No. He never moved away? Mm mm. Oh. So when he's saying he was gone from April 17th until when? Jace was born? That's not true? No, it's not. What is it's your not. testimony? It's not at all, because we had sex on his birthday. And when is that? April 30th. Impossible. And we had sex every day after that, and the last day we had sex was May 10th. How did we do that? And I was living in Missouri, though. He was here. I wasn't dreaming. 
No, that's that's incorrect, Your Honor. I was not here. Could you have the date wrong, sir? No, ma'am. So you never remember him moving away ever? Nope. That's a lie. So tell me what happened when you found out you were pregnant. When I found out I was pregnant, I called him and told him that I was pregnant. Before then, we, we had been trying to have a baby. December of 2012, he spent Christmas with his other kids at my house. And during that time, when I finally moved into my apartment, which was March 1st of 2013, he came right after that in April. And he was there with me. We were doing it all the time because we planned on having a son. We was talking about getting married. I was like, well, I don't want to get married until we have the baby because I want to lose weight and fit in my dress. So I know for a fact that he was here. Were you talking about getting married and planning this baby, Mr. Johnson? No, ma'am. We sure weren't. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> no, Yon. So you're a man of few words, but I'm going to need you to talk. Because I'm going to need you to testify as to what your recollection of this relationship is. Because you say you were out of town, but she has uh, laid out a whole host of activities that you all were involved in during the months when you say you were gone. I was absent. That's true, Yana. So I was not there. When she called me, I was in Missouri when she called me and told me she was pregnant. So what happened when you told him you were pregnant? What do you remember him saying? I don't even really recall what he was saying. I did kind of feel that he was happy about it. Oh, you did? So what's the... Because I knew we was planning it. So this was the So when you make the call, you think we did it. Mm Mm-hmm. That's a lie. It's finally here because that was the day I was going back to get on birth control. That's a lie. Because I was off for a whole year. And you say it's a lie, you weren't happy? No, I was not, Your Honor. How can I be happy when it's not my child? How can you You deny it and... And I wasn't even there when he was conceived. I was living in Missouri. I wish I had my text stubs with me. I could show you where I was at. I wish you had them, too. I wish I did, Because you ain't talking. I wish, I wish I you did. had but some he proof just of something. I wish I did. You just disappear. And I, I hadn't seen him no more after June 4th for two years. Oh. So once you tell him you're pregnant, he never shows back up. Nope. So you go through all the doctor's appointments, this baby you planned. Baby shower, everything by myself. Doesn't show up at all until Jace is two years old? Yes. What happened, Mr. Johnson? You just didn't... No. You, you didn't even want to see the baby? No, Your Honor. I stopped communication with her because she told me she didn't want me to have nothing to do with her or her child. That's life. a lie. That is a lie. We got into it that over the phone. That is a lie. No. And she told me on no. the phone, no. well, since okay. this is not working, then you don't have to be in our life at all like that, you know, getting all loud with me. So I hung up on her. That's what I do. I'm not going to argue with you. The situation is what it is. And that's why we're here today. <laughs> Because I'm here to clear my name. So, wait, the child is four years old. Four. You disappear for two years, even though you, you say you had a sexual relationship with her, but you left on a certain date, although, you know, Miss Wilson has several sexual encounters lined up, including your birthday, on into the next month, and she says you were still sexually active. Must have been but my But even if... Even when I counted on that timeline... Like, like they, let's really keep it real. Even if I counted on that timeline and you say, well, I was gone around that 10th month or so, as a person, as a man, wouldn't it be swirling in your mind like, well, what if the date for the doctor was off? What if something's off? What if it was my child? Two years? You just ghost? I had my life, she had hers. I moved. No, but the baby had a life, too. What happened the first time you saw Jace? You said you were gone for two years? Uh, my mom was talking to me, and you know how some mothers are. They put pressure on sons, like, well, son, he looks like you. And they tell you this. to do the right thing. Pretty much. Uh-huh. Yes, yes Sean. Mm-hmm. So, at this point, I'm going to meet her at the laundromat with the child. I took the child to my cousin's house, so you know, so they could see him. And she was like, well, he does look like you because, you know, she's older. So, and as I proceeded to take him back to the laundromat, I pulled up. I'm not even there 10 minutes. Here comes the ex. He pulls up, the little boy running to him, daddy, daddy. So, I bail out. And so now you think he's the biological father. Yes, I do, Your Honor. Did Jace run over to your ex and say, daddy, daddy, daddy? He sure did, because that's who he known. That's who he has known. 
and heard my daughter calling him daddy. So he figured, well, since my oldest sister do it, why should not? So, Mr. Johnson, what else do you know? What else have you heard? Actually, I'm glad you asked me that. She would go visit her ex two to three times a day. I mean, a week. And spend long hours over there. But as she quote-unquote says, we're burning DVDs. Oh. Now, if you're leaving our house at 1, 12 o'clock, you come back at 8, come on now. Y'all burning more than DVDs. So you what talk- house? Because you wasn't even with me. You talking you about there, before she was pregnant? Because it doesn't... Be- right. Before she was pregnant, that's when she was going over there. So that's why I say, when, before I left, she was still dealing with this guy. You see what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> why do you say that like you know that for sure? Right. Because I saw them together before. I caught up with them, all kind of stuff. We we go, oh, you oh, did? We go, you caught up yes, doing what? You... Yes, I did. Well, I wish you would come to court and present your proof and your testimony. I'm waiting. Because you caught us doing what? I you caught, caught you her doing what? Times. I said I caught you with him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I caught you. How did you catch her? They was riding in the car together, quote unquote, family time or whatever she talking. calls it. That's what Whatever that she calls it. But you felt like you saw them interacting in a romantic way? No, I never caught them doing that, Your Honor. Never did. I want to understand your doubt. I didn't feel a connection. I didn't feel nothing. Even when I took him over to my family house. You're supposed to feel some kind of bond with your child. I have four of the kids that I take care of, Your Honor. And I got a bond with all of them. All my kids look like me, exactly like me. We have strong genes in our family. And I know for a fact that's not my son. What's really going on here? It's something else going on. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know how you can be so nonchalant about an innocent boy. And your family says it's, they think it's yours. And whether you do or you don't, believe it in your heart, the way that you have failed to show up consistently to even make this right, four years. Nobody could get a DNA test in four years? And I never denied him one either. The day I had him, I called him and told him, you could get it done. Every, all these, all these years. Look at him and tell him how let down you are. I'm hurt that I'm even standing here and have to go through this with you. I was in love with you. I loved you. I still love you. Because you're my child's father at the end of the day. Possibly. But I can't believe I'm standing here doing this with you right now. After all that we've been through, after everything we've been through, when I had Joe back, through all what you've been through. But me standing here, that's your son. We'll find out. I just want this to be over. I do too. This is hard to watch. It's hard to watch. Because it's like you all are oceans apart right now. Thank goodness this courtroom exists so we can get the answers we need because we got to move forward, people. We can't stay in this spot. Jerome, give me that envelope. (laughs) These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Wilson versus Johnson. When it comes to four-year-old Jace Wilson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you are the father. What's up, that? Can I say something, y'all? As long as it's productive and positive. Yes, ma'am. As I stand here today, I can apologize to you as a man. I apologize. 